okay, we did a nice little mix there. I liked it. Just some idea, get a real cool idea of what's going on here. But the first thing I want to do now is I want to go back to my groups. It's important when using these IO setups and you're mixing something, you want to make sure you click on solo, that the entire group solo, so we can get an idea of what's in the group, uh, how loud the sounds are and whatever. So let's go back here to the corner here, left-hand corner, and open up this edge here, view our groups. And I want to go here to modify groups, little down triangle. We're going to select here, modify groups, and here comes groups. Now the first group we see is elements. I don't want to see the elements. So we go here, I'm going to go say, okay, there we go. We're going to go to drums. <laughs> there it is, the drum group. Perfect. Now, I may want to modify this group a little bit, you know, put something here. Uh, you never know. So I want to make sure when I press solo, though, that they're linked. I press solo, the sounds in this group will solo together. I want to make sure, too, in this case, I want to make sure my sends are linked. So my send mutes. I, I mute the entire group, bam, I mute them in the mix, they're all muted at the same time, get a nice quiet appeal, put it back in, it's booming. We get back here again, we're going to do the send levels next. I want to make sure that my send levels are lined up also as well. That's important for me. And I want to add something, I want to add this drum mix I got here to the group. Okay? And that's my new group. Now it's an edit group, it's a mix group. It could be an edit group only. It could be a mix group only. I want it to be an edit and a mix group. I want to edit those those tracks together. I want to make sure they're together when I do edit them. Now, this is what I want to see, and I'll press OK. Bam, we're in there. Looks good. Okay, scrolling here to the bottom of this view here. We got our drum mix, and I press solo here. Oh, nothing going on. Solo here. Nothing going on. Nothing here going on. See that? Now, we're going to go back and see why. Is it active? Make it active. Ah, now it's active. And everybody's solo. See that? So make sure you make a group up. Make sure you're going to activate that group so you are ready to do it. Now I'm going to go back here, get rid of the edge there on the left-hand side. And now I want to add one more mix in here. I want to add in a drum verb mix group. Now we're going to go back to my IO setup here. And I'll show you that. And I've labeled this, called it drum verb. See that? That was 3, 4. Now it's called the drum verb. Good. Now, we're going to go over here. And I got a new auxiliary track. Already made up already. Got that in the last lesson, so I just went ahead and did it anyway. That was in my last lesson, so here we go again. Now, I want to add some sort of verb in this thing. Let's go back to the top of the track. Go to here. And I want to put a little reverb in here for this drum mix thing going on. Let's see what I can do here. I want to put a reverb, let's see, I want to go with some simple verb here, nothing too heavy right now, just to get an idea, to give you an idea what's going on, and give me an idea what we want to do. And we got a list of verbs we can do here, cute. And let's see, I don't want to give it too big a sound, I like a nice little simple sound for right now, until I just try to get too heavy, let me get further this, this mixing thing I want to do with you guys. Uh, let's look for something that we like, not too boomy, not too platey. Uh, maybe it's something that's going to give me something a little pulsating. This might be cool right here. This might be cool. We'll check this one out here. And it's a nonlinear reverb right here, so we'll use that for a second. And I want to send sounds in this reverb. All right? So we're going to go here. We're going to bus. And we're going to go to the drum verb. Go to here to bus again. We're going to go to drum verb. And again, for the hi-hat track, we want to go to drum verb. Okay. Now, I can grab this up to here and I'll click on here and you'll see now they're all the same see that by going into that group send there I sent I, they all become the same level so if I touch one they're all the same level and they're all gonna go in at the same time at the same level now that's not too cool for me right now because you know verbs are like a lot of reverb but I don't want a reverb on a kick drum that I just don't want so we can go back here again we're gonna go to drums we're gonna modify our groups Here's our group again. That's A. We don't want that. We want the B group. There it is, the drum group. And now we want to, we don't want to get the send levels going that way, okay? Maybe mute, but not the sends. I'll press OK. Now, I can have separate levels for the sends going to the auxiliary bus. Let's close it. The left-hand side, we have our tracks and groups. And now let's move up a little bit here. This is the kick drum. I don't want much verb on a kick drum. That should be out in front of your face. Snare drum. A little verbal service is pretty good. And then we got this here, hi-hat. 
so it's got some effect to it. So I want the effect to linger in the background. I may want to pan it eventually to pan that effect around. So you listen to the track and the heads that are in a club. It's like, where the hell is that hi hat going to? It's spinning around and the guitar is in your face or coming from the back of the room. So it's kind of cool like that. And we're going to go ahead with this. And next thing we're going to do is scroll to the end here. And we're going to solve this verb and get an idea what's going on here. So we're going to the verb. I get more sense of this verb now. See that? I'll press stop. And now we've got two auxiliaries going on. Let's label this auxiliary at the end there. Let's label that sucker. Gotta know what it is, right? This is gonna be our drum. Verb. There it is right there. Press OK. You've got to label stuff. you got to know what's in the mix. You don't want to come back. You may go out all night, hang out with your friends, get drunk, come back next day. Oh, my God. I forgot what I did in that mix. You want to come back, see it, pull it up. Yo, I'm ready to go. Let's do this. So it's always important to label your tracks and keep it inside of your mix. Keep your head in the mix. So right there, you saw what we did. We actually um, got these drums doing pretty good there. We got a little reverb on top of them, but we're not sure the levels. But uh, that will take care of the mixing. The purpose of this lesson now is just to understand how IOs work, how to build your tracks around IOs. And you saw there we had a, another auxiliary track we got there, which is our drum verb track. We also added this other track with some compression, which is our drum mix track. So it's important to understand how to do this concept here. And also, when you're setting up groups, when you've got these tracks lined up for your auxiliary subgroups, we have the drums going to a subgroup, so our drum mix. Make sure they got them in groups and the groups are tied together how you want to use them. Now, I'm going to go back here. I can click on here and turn this off and get my overall level going on. Reverb down a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good there. Cool. So, as you can see there, we got a little stronger with the drums now. Now, so it's important when doing your mix to probably bring levels up and down, but the purpose of this lesson here is to understand the IO setup. That's it.